Now that school bells are ringing again, it means that it's time to start packing lunches again as well. And here with some good ideas for fun lunchbox treats is Rainya Harris. And her grandkids are here to help cooking. They're going to join us in just the a little bit. Second segment. So I'm so cute. excited. So you got some vegetables frying up here. I do. I do. And this is called How to Get Your Children to Eat Vegetables <laughs> and They Don't Know They're Actually Doing It. <laughs> So I, we're hiding them. I should call these hidden vegetable pizza rolls. Where'd Leslie go? Uh, she'd actually be happy today. She'd be very happy today. <laughs> Let me tell you what I had to get started. In a little bit of olive oil, mm -hmm. I sauteed onion first to get it started because okay. it takes the longest. Then I added, shortly thereafter, diced carrots. Then I added, right after that, diced zucchini. Now I'm going to add mushrooms because they go pretty fast. Oh, yeah. And then I'm going to add spinach because that goes super fast. And you've chopped that pretty finely. Everything's chopped pretty finely, but it's going to get pulverized in a minute in the blender. Oh. Right. That's why they're hidden. And this is orange bell pepper, again, that's been diced. And this is like a pizza roll or what it's is this? It's a pizza roll. The pizza kids roll. love those he, too. Kids love them, right? But if they were to see all these vegetables in the sauce, they might turn their nose up to them. Yeah. But sure. we're not going to let that happen today. <laughs> so what you do is you want to season this with just a little salt and pepper, and I'll tell you why just a little bit. There's cheese going into this, and I bought marinara sauce. Oh, okay. And that probably has its own flavor Sodium and salt and, yeah. and all mm -hmm. those things. So you don't want to overdo this. So once you get all of your vegetables softened, and this takes, you know, I'm going to say maybe 10 minutes. And I want mom and dad to know who are making these that this isn't something that you have to do the morning of. Oh, yeah, don't do this the morning right. of. Right. What you're going <laughs> Make this to on do. a Saturday or Sunday, get it ready and for the week. And freeze them. Oh, you can freeze it. Yeah. Even better. So let's turn off the heat. Okay. Let's put on the glasses. <laughs> just to make sure. <laughs> just to make sure. <laughs> oh, it's no fun getting old, folks. Oh, I know. Okay, so what you're going to do here is you're going to take this mixture. Okay. And this is only about a cup of a store-bought marinara sauce. Any brand you like, or do you want to any, look for something in particular? Any, anything you want. Okay. But I wouldn't get anything that has any meat or anything to it, because some okay. of them do. Right. So you just want to add all of this in here. And what can I help with? Do you want to get out your pizza dough now? Do you mind? Yeah, I'd love to. And then to. we can talk about it. <laughs> I think this is, I'm not going to grab everything here, but I'm going to grab as much as I can. We have to go shopping, Rainia. Our fridge is empty. I don't know if you saw this. <laughs> well, I have a confession to make. I'm the one that comes in here and cleans it every week. Oh, gee, <laughs> so I have the marinara sauce. I have all my veggies in here. I'm going to turn on the blender and ultimately puree this. And you can see how they're all starting to come together. Yeah. And you'll never know what's going on in here by the time I'm done with this. It's just going to be a nice pizza sauce. That's so. all it is. But it has all these wonderful vegetables. And there you go. That's lovely. And you'll never, I just, I love that. I would even eat that. Yeah. Look. Myself. I don't need it. No one's going to know except yeah. you and me, Heather, and everybody out there. <laughs> so. Obviously, you want to cool this down. Okay. Because you don't want it to mess up the the pizza dough itself. You know, we can just put this back anywhere, in the fridge. Okay. Anywhere you want. Okay. We're just on the floor. So what you do here, here is that's what it looks like. And what you want to do is you want to spread a thin layer over the dough. Now let's talk about the dough. Okay. I just went and bought pizza crust dough that you get in the tube. So easy. It is. It's so now, easy. Now, if yeah. you wanted, you could go to the, your pizza guy because they sell dough. We, I do that all the time when we make strombolis at home. Yeah, or and just doing, roll yeah. it out. Mm -hmm. I will tell you, the only challenge to this recipe, and it was, I'm not going to lie about it, is ro rolling, <laughs> popping that darn <laughs> thing open, which I'm not going to try on live television. <laughs> And rolling it out. Yeah. I'd almost rather either make my own dough. Well, dough's fairly or, or, easy to make. Yeah, or yeah. go to the pizza guy. 
And it's cheap too. You can get dough for a dollar or two. Yeah. yeah. Heck yeah. Mozzarella cheese. Okay. And this is where the fun begins. A little more mozzarella is not going to hurt us. No, I don't think. I don't Even think Leslie so. would agree to that. <laughs> Take this off of here since it's hot. And then what you want to do, and I have this on parchment. I was going to ask about that. Okay. Just to help me get it started. See, thanks. Extra hands always help. This is where you get your kids involved. Hold yeah, the paper down. I think it's fun. I think this is absolutely fun. See, and then you have that. And you might want to, at this point, form it a little bit. Now, the end pieces are going to be the pieces that you're not going to use. But what you would like to do, and let's just see if I can find a good serrated knife here, because I like serrated, is you can actually, rather, you want to cut this one straight on. Okay. Not at an angle. But then? You just cut them like so. Great. And you and cut them before you bake it, as you're doing. Right. So then what you do is you take a muffin tin and spray it. spray it. And here's a tip that everybody should know, which is fun. After you're done spraying it, I'm not going to do it today. If you really want to help them come out, put a little flour in here. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. And this looks it like it's lightly floured, too. It is. It is, actually. And you lay them down in here like so. Uh huh. And then you just keep laying them, laying them, laying them, laying them. And consequently, when you're ready to bake them, 400 degrees for about 12 minutes, 15 minutes. This is one to see what they look like. Yes, I would love to. All right. Let's see what we can do. Can, where's that pan that you oh, just had? Oh, I hid it in this drawer. Why don't you take this, put it back in the fridge so we can you bake these for the, for the crew. All right. And let's pull one out of the oven. And you already opened this up. I got to see a little bit of what they looked like. Oh, they're fun. And, and you I can say, how, how long would these stay in the freezer for? If you I would to say make a big batch? I would do no more than a couple of months. Okay. I would be careful. Look how great those look. Do this. And then you want to just get down in here. Oh, those are so cute. Aren't they? And you just and you can eat them pop cold. Them well, here's what I recommend that you send them to school frozen. Oh, so they'll thaw mm -hmm. on the way? Yeah. They'll thaw by the time lunch rolls around. And we'll talk That's about great. that in, in, in a minute. Did you see that I brought you some wonderful um, lunch boxes? I did. I love I these. got them from the pottery barn. Oh, get out! And if you open that one up, that one has, like, that's like a bento box kind. Uh-huh. And they have all sorts of cute things here today that you can buy for children. Oh, yes. In the way of lunch boxes. Look at that, little compartments. And what you do is you take that out at night, and you wash that, and the lunch box stays clean. Oh, genius. And then I, and then I got another one here. I don't want to touch it because this is Savannah's, and my hands are <laughs> my granddaughter. But this one has a compartment. This is the soft one. Oh, it has a if compartment in there. If you can open that one, and you can take a look on the inside... And what you'll see on the inside on that Similar one. Similar thing. Right. So yeah. Same idea with a freezer pack. Great. So when you come back, you can taste these. <laughs> I'll have the kids with me. Let's Great. clean up and let's make some turkey rolls and let's make some apple, apple sandwiches. Can't wait. Stay with us, guys. We'll be right back with more with Rainia.